Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be winding the clock back a little bit to investigate a mystery of young Arthur Morgan and the first horse that he had that we know of in the Vanderlyn gang, and what happened to it. So I don't know what Rockstar has planned for the future of Red Dead Redemption, whether that's a story mode DLC for RDR2, or whether they're going to do a prequel to Red Dead Redemption 2 as Red Dead Redemption 3, but the story of young Arthur Morgan fascinates me, especially the time we don't get to see, like pre-1899. And one of the more interesting things, at least in my opinion, is Arthur's first horse that we never get to see. And that horse's name is Bodicea. And Bodicea is actually mentioned a few times throughout the story and also sort of hinted at that Arthur doesn't have a horse. And this starts in the very first mission of the game. In fact, when he goes out with Dutch, he has to be given a horse by Charles Smith, which means he currently doesn't have one on his own. And even later on throughout the mission, Dutch implies that a horse he finds would be a good replacement for the one that he lost. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town. Band, it ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son! Ah. We need you strong. Okay. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. You let him go, huh? Oh, I'm a little bastard scurrying off. Yeah, figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. All right, so as you guys heard there, Dutch references, especially throughout that last part, like that would be a great horse replacement. And at first I thought that this was just like a gameplay mechanic in order to get the player to like find their first horse and to break them in. And that might be the case, but I also think there is a bigger backstory here. And I think this is confirmed in another mission. It's a mission in chapter two that you actually do with Hosea, where you go hunting a giant bear called Exit Pursued by a Bruised Ego. And in the very start of the mission, Rockstar also used this as an opportunity to introduce you to like the horse sellers, the horse fence in the game. And so because of that, we get a little bit, bit more background on Bodicea. Hey, Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. And I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him, let's get going. Okay, so it's clear from this conversation that Arthur no longer has Bodicea as his horse, clearly. And he very much misses this horse. Now, I'm assuming that Bodicea is a she based off of the way Arthur is talking about the horse. And it also kind of makes you wonder what actually happened to Bodicea because we don't see any references of this horse in Arthur's journal. And outside of really those two missions that I just showed you, we never really see it brought up again. So here's my theory on what happened to Bodicea. 
We know Arthur wasn't directly involved with the Blackwater Ferry robbery. In fact, he was off with Hosea sort of hunting another way to go about making money. However, when the ferry robbery went wrong, Arthur and Hosea rushed into Blackwater and they tried to rescue what was left of their gang. So if I had to take a guess, I would say that at the time, Arthur was riding Bodicea, and I'm assuming that something went wrong and their escape from Blackwater to the Grizzly Mountains where we see the game actually start. Now, what that could have been is a mystery. Worst case scenario, poor Bodicea likely got injured in the gunfighting and the conflict between the Vanderlyn gang and the Pinkertons. Maybe they just simply got separated and there was no way for them to get reconnected. That's a pretty sad story too. So I think that Bodicea was either killed or lost in the Blackwater Ferry Job massacre or you know debacle that happened before the story because when we see arthur in the very first cutscene, yes he's riding a horse but it seems like one that was given to him or that he found along the way it doesn't seem as if that's bodicea and the reason we know this is because he ends up riding a different horse when he goes out with dutch now this might have just been a developer oversight but i feel like rockstar is so detail oriented that they would have picked up on this as well. And they would have kept the same horse if it was indeed Bodicea. And we also don't know for how long Arthur had had Bodicea. It could have been years. It could have been a couple of months. Given what we know happens at the end of the game, if Arthur has a like four level bonded ranking with his horse, there will actually be a special cutscene at the very end that won't happen if you have like a, a normal horse or like a level one bonded horse. Come on! So we know that Arthur Morgan very much deeply cares for the horses that he has, the animals that he takes care of. So we know he has a very strong relationship right there. And a lot of you guys have also been wondering and speculating what type of horse is Bodicea? And I've seen a lot of theories thrown around with some good explanations, but here is what I think. I think Bodicea was one of two horses. Number one, a Missouri Foxtrotter. And the reason I believe Bodicea is a Missouri Foxtrotter is because the three most important gang members are Dutch, Hosea, and Arthur. And Dutch and Hosea both have some of the best horses in the game. An Arabian, which is the count for Dutch, and a Turkoman, Silver Dollar, for Hosea. So it would only make sense if Arthur also had one of the three best horses in the game, the Missouri Foxtrotter, which in fact is the fastest horse in the game. So that's the first theory. The second theory is that Bodicea was in fact a thoroughbred. And the reason we can assume this is Rockstar somewhat hinted that she was because that's the horse they give you with the special edition of the game. So if we go by that theory, we could assume that Bodicea was potentially a dappled black thoroughbred because that's the one given with the special edition of Red Dead Redemption 2. So honestly, those are probably the two best theories on what type of horse Bodicea actually is. And again, that's just going off of theories and things we know so far. She's not mentioned in any of the journal entries or any flashbacks. We don't get any dialogue other than what I've already told you about in this video. But I still think the backstory is really cool. And again, it really makes me wish that Rockstar had explored the life of young Arthur Morgan. And again, who knows what they're going to be doing in the future. But I think being able to figure out what his life was like pre-1899 with some of the older gang members, that would be so awesome. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think happened to Arthur Morgan's old horse when he was a little bit younger, Bodicea? And what type of horse do you think she was? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking down there. 
If you guys did gone to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.